Hey everyone, if you have rare US and world coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. An outstanding error coin, a discovery coin that brought someone thousands of dollars at auction, even in circulated condition. 2014D Sacagawea dollar coin, milled with presidential dollar. Mill is perhaps the most fascinating mint error known to modern collectors. Broadly speaking, a mule is a coin struck from two dies that were never meant to be paired. Rather than the product of mechanical failings, as are most modern mint errors, mules are the product of human error. The reverse of this coin is from an ordinary 2014D Sacagawea dollar, but the reverse is intended for the presidential dollars of that year. A pressman at the mint, when changing out the dies on one of the presses, inadvertently selected the presidential dollar reverse rather than the appropriate native hospitality reverse. The mistake was likely noticed shortly after the press resumed operation, and the mint practice would have been to destroy all of the affected coins. This piece evidently fell through the cracks and escaped the mint in a bag with ordinary Sacagawea dollars. The final selling price at Heritage Auctions reached $84,000 for this gem. This is 1945 Mercury Dam in MS67 plus condition with FB designation. FB stands for fully struck bands or fully struck torch on reverse side of the coin. There are not many high grade 1945 dimes with full bands definition. This is arguably one of the rarest issues in the high grade full bands after 1920s and it is unquestioned key to the World War II short set in full bands. A significant price gap began to emerge in the 1970s between the extremely common weak strikes and full bands coins. And it is a price gap that has continuously widened ever since. Blazing frosty luster displays a silvery white but yields delicate hints of iridescence when rotated beneath the light. The fastest bands are bold, both the horizontal and diagonal ones. Extended examination with Lou fails to find a single mentionable flaw with this coin. This exquisite coin fetched the price of $96,000 at Heritage Auctions. Next, nearly perfect 1940S Lincoln Sand graded in MS68 red condition by PCGS. An exceptional example of the San Francisco issue with shades of peach and burgundy at the centers while lavender and golden hues adorn border. The luster is uniform and unbroken throughout, blanketing the field and devices with fine satiny texture. The typical softness is seen on the O of 1 and AM of America, though there are no post mint blemishes to note sold for $9,600 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on with his 1999 Silver Eagle, ultimate gem in MS-70 condition. The American Eagle Gold and Silver Bullion Coin program was started in 1986 to provide an option for investors in the United States to acquire a domestic product. Since then, they have become a collector's item with considerable demand for the highest graded pieces, such as these perfect MS-70. This example exhibits frosty silver luster, bolt design elements, and untoned obverse and reverse surfaces. It was sold for $11,750 at Heritage Auctions. And this is 1916 Lincoln Sand in PR65 plus brown condition, CAC proven gem, toned with an elegant and attractive blend of teal and copper rose with finely textured matte surfaces on the devices and the fields. Lincoln's beard shows bolt definition. It was sold for $5,520 at Stax Bowers Auction. Thanks for watching, guys. If you would like to find out more about rare coins, just scroll US Coins playlist on our main page. And don't forget to hit the like button before you jump onto another video.